Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be painting a mixed media piece. So I'm starting out by taking a page out of a book that I found from a thrift store and just ripping it up kind of organically to add somewhere onto my piece. As you can see, I burnt the edges a little bit just to make it more interesting and now I'm putting Mod Podge on the back of it so I can glue it anywhere on my piece. I chose a couple colors blindly just to make sure that I'm still having fun and staying intuitive in my painting process. So here I'm just choosing one of those colors and wetting my brush and then just adding random strokes onto the paper however I feel like doing. Decided to take my second color and again just adding brush strokes wherever I feel like it. Honestly, there was no plan with this piece and that helps me stay in my creativity the best. I like to get a little bit messy straight away and begin adding some paint splatters just to remind myself that this piece is gonna be full of fun elements. I started thinking about what else I wanted to add to this piece and a rose came to mind, so I'm sketching out a rose now and it's really helpful to use reference images, especially when you're new to drawing like I am. And use your lighter pencils first and then go over the details with your darker pencils. Here I'm starting to use ink to solidify where my lines are going to be, reminding myself to not take it so seriously and it's okay if it looks a little bit funky and not super realistic. When I was thinking about what else I wanted to add to this piece, the Egyptian goddess Isis started coming to mind. And she is the goddess of magic and healing, and she's really powerful and really revered in Egyptian mythology. There's a lot of different depictions of her, and the one that I chose is the one where she's winged. I really loosely sketched her out and then I went back in with one of my ink pens and I'm just kind of messily tracing those lines and allowing myself to use all the different angles of the pen tip. Again, I'm trying to remind myself to stay in my feminine and in my creativity and be surrendered to the process without overthinking what colors are going to go together, what shadows, and all of that extra logical stuff. I'm not really letting myself be too focused about staying in the lines and even painting in a consistent manner or using a nice brush. The way we express ourselves and our art can be our greatest act of rebellion. So every little thing you do matters, even if you don't think it does. I love this dark teal. It's super watery, which is really fun. And I'm gonna add even more water to it just to make it a little bit messier. And now I'm just covering my brush in one of the colors that I picked and spreading it everywhere, adding some bright yellow. Again, I love using water to create texture. It's so simple and it just makes really cool shapes on the piece. There's no plan here as usual, just continuing the flow of picking whatever color I feel called to and then just spreading it wherever I feel like it on the canvas and hoping it turns out for the best. It's a good practice of letting go of my perfectionism and needing something to look good all the time and being present with the process.
I remember the first time when it really hit me in the beginning of my painting journey that if I don't like something, I can just cover it up. And that has helped liberate me so much whenever I'm working on a piece. And it really helps me stay in the surrender of it. So if I feel like doing something, I just let myself do it. And I always know that I can change my mind later. I also like to bring in different kinds of brushes while I'm painting and use the different angles of the brush tip just to add a little bit more interest to the pieces. I love gold, so I'm adding some gold to this piece and just spreading it out at random. As the painting develops, I start to figure out where I wanna enhance certain colors and where I might want to start to change certain colors. I'm feeling like I'm pretty close to being done, but as you can see, there's a lot of color on the canvas. So I'm deciding to go back with my paint pens and my ink pens and just kind of trace over some random lines that I want more enhanced. And here I'm going in with my white paint pen and I'm drawing a little rosebud next to my first rose. I thought that white would be a good contrast against all of the black ink that I've been using. I wanted to bring some dimension to the rose, so I'm adding some white shadows and a little bit of pink to make it match the other one. I'm adding some really faint pyramids here just because I thought that it would be fun. And she's finished. It's time to take off the tape and reveal her in her final form. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more videos like this.